So welcome to today's reflection from Christ Church. And it has taken all week, but I want to reflect on the amazing event of real summer and also the timely nature of Graham's message last Sunday. So real summer, 60 young people and a week of crazy fun games, amazing worship and some very direct cheap teaching and challenges about Jesus's love for us. Fun, yes, but also a time of learning and, and not just for the young people. Pip's seminar on prayer spoke to me as much as it did to those 60 years younger. Not all the young people were traditional churchgoers, but from day one, everyone engaged in worship, in words that came from the heart. And one of the great encouragements for us all, some of those leaders were graduates of real summers past that actually made their commitment to follow Christ as a result of this same event three, four, five years ago. So yes, it was an amazing week. And it is a week that I know by God's grace will have a lasting impact on all those who came. Uh, just for the record, we will be posting a summary video of our 2024 event, and I commend it to you all, and I will make sure everybody knows where it is. But what has this all got to do with Graham's message last Sunday? He spoke from Matthew 19, verses 13 to 15. Then children were brought to him that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked the people, but Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and went away. The message that Graham brought us was that we should all come to Christ Jesus in a childlike manner, not a childish one. Childish approach is one that is self-centered, that comes demanding, that comes perhaps with a limited attention span. A childlike approach comes filled with awe and wonder at the majesty of God and his love, comes with anticipation that we will see God at work, with confidence that we can approach him without being rejected, with trust that he wants to do what is best for us, that he wants to do great things in us and with us. Real summer came with a justifiable sense of expectation. The joy of expecting to meet with God spilled out into amazing times of worship and leaves us all with the challenge. When we think about what God has done for us, when we think about his saving grace, when we look at the majesty of his creation, does that lead us to worship? Or do we adopt a bored cynicism that can too easily come with age? It doesn't stop there because there was an expectation that God would act in people's lives, that the not yet believers of Monday would be the committed followers of Friday. There was a confidence that we can all have a real relationship with Jesus and that he cares for us. A childlike trust that is not misplaced. In a way, it's a challenge for us all. Is there a risk? that we sit down and say, this is the 21st century, God doesn't do amazing things now. Do we live with a very low expectation? We do need, perhaps, to be more childlike in our trust and in our expectation. As I was preparing this, I remembered an old song written by Stuart Hamblin and sung by Elvis Presley called It Is No Secret. I'll, I'll, I won't sing it to you, but I will read some of the verse. The chimes of time ring out the news. Another day is through. Someone slipped and fell. Was that someone you? You may have longed for added strength, your courage to renew. Do not be disheartened, for I have news for you. It is no secret what God can do. 
what he's done for others, he'll do for you. With arms wide open, he'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. It is no secret what our God can do. Hamlin told the story behind that song. Back in 1949, when Billy Graham was in Los Angeles for evangelistic meetings, his wife persuaded him to attend one of the services. And early next morning, he met with Billy Graham again. And during their conversation, he surrendered his life to be a follower of Christ. A short while later, he said, I wrote this song one night shortly after midnight. My wife and I had been visiting John Wayne just to fill him in on some of the things that had happened while he'd been away. Somehow the discussion got around to how people can solve problems within themselves. And I remember making a statement such as, it's no secret what God can do in a man's life. And about two hours later, as we were about to leave, John Wayne said, Stuart, you ought to write a song about it. It is no secret what God can do. That's a beautiful thought. It really isn't a secret. But too often we seem to think that God can't or won't do anything. It's too small or it's too big for him. Our cynical adult brain is setting boundaries for an all-powerful God who knows no boundaries. Come as a child with absolute trust, absolute confidence. Come in awe and wonder. Come in love and praise. Of course, we don't always get the answer we want to our problems. But we can and must trust God. I know it is our human condition to want to, but we do not need to always understand everything. We need to trust. To trust a God who is unchanging. To trust a God who sees beyond the flicker of a life on earth to the glorious light of a life spent in eternity. Approach with a childlike trust, confident in our relationship with our Saviour. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, that you welcome each one of us into your kingdom. Help us to come to you with a childlike confidence and trust, in awe at your love and at what you've done for us. Help us to come to you in anticipation that you will do amazing things in us, with us, through us. Thank you for your love. Amen. No surprise as to the song I've chosen. It is no secret. Have a great weekend. God bless.